Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Welcome back to a new episode of World Builder Wednesdays, where every week I spotlight a really awesome creation on the LEGO World Builder platform powered by Tongle. Today we're taking a look at the world LEGO Elios. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but this was created by the user Joghurt89, and again, I, much like last week, I think that this is one of the best creations on the LEGO World Builder platform. The basic background to this world is that two siblings created a LEGO board game for a competition 20 years ago, but they were sucked into it and trapped in their own world. Both of them have magic powers in the game, but the brother goes evil and takes over the land. Now, 20 years later, the sister has to use her power to pull four players from the real world into the game. And so, to me, that kind of reminds me of Jumanji, the whole concept of being trapped inside a board game. But it also kind of has like a Narnia twist, and I just really like that premise. Right off the bat, I have to commend this world for being one of the most fleshed out things I have seen on LEGO World Builder. So it's not just the artwork, it's not just the characters, which I think have been strong on all of the worlds that I've looked at for this Spotlight series, but just beyond the the literal world bits, like, like the different elements that you can create, the storyline's extremely well developed. Like, I feel like this could be written into a book. You can see there's just one storyline, but it's it's a very detailed history of the entire world, and I really liked reading it. But beyond that, you can see that the entire the entire world is kind of designed to be like an RPG adventure. The architect compared it to D&D, &D, but, you know, a little bit more simple. And so what I appreciate is that he's actually thought through, like, the rules of the game. He's thought through how the sets would work, like how they would combine to make a board game, and how, like, each player would move according to how many, like, dice they have. And... All of those things, all of the bases that have been covered here just make this world so much richer than a lot of the creations on LEGO World Builder. So let's take a look at some of the characters because like I said, I really love the art. I especially love the designs for the avatars, like this is a minifigure that I definitely want to own. So we have Max, Josie, Isla, and Noah. Those are the four kids that get sucked into the game in like the present day. And I want to take a look at Max in particular because like I said, I really like that art. But then I even like just the evolution, you know, the fact that the old artwork that was changed is put up here, I think that that's really awesome because you can see how the world has evolved a little bit. There's even a different color scheme, the characters together, and I have to say I really, really love this color scheme. Um, and again, I, I would just love to see this as a physical creation. So like I said, I really love the artwork and the characterization for pretty much everyone. But what I like even more is how evident the collaboration is on LEGO Elios. I think that that's one of the strongest parts about this world, and you can really see it here. Because everything is in the same art style, and it all looks like it goes together very cohesively, but when you start clicking on these kind of like, little bit wilder characters with the funny names, you can see that they've actually all been contributed by other users. And I think that this is a great example of how you can incorporate someone's ideas into your own world while still making it like mesh seamlessly. Because from looking just at this world from the outside, I would never guess that these were contributions and not created by the architect from the beginning. And I really love some of these characters. Like I said, they've been created by a bunch of different users and the art. I don't know if I don't know if someone's been contributing the art or if it's the architect doing it, but I really really love the designs for like everything that I've seen here. And when I say that there's a lot of collaboration on Lego Elios, I really mean it because you can see you have 64 elements over here, which is like a higher number than a lot of the other worlds I've looked at for for this World Builder Wednesday series. There are 13 proposed elements but there are a lot more incorporated ones. If we start going through the different element categories, you can see that pretty much everything has incorporated and proposed elements, and I really appreciate that. I especially like seeing so many society elements here because I do think that that's one aspect of worlds that gets overlooked a lot. The history and the storyline sections seem short because there's only one element, but really they're like so long and full of information, and you do have a lot of proposals as well. I don't know if the architect has just stepped away a little bit. There isn't an interview this week, so I'm really sorry about that, because um, I really wanted to talk to, 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 talk to this architect. But, um, but it, it kind of seems like maybe they've stepped away a little bit, just because they, they have incorporated so much, but now like all of these proposals are just kind of sitting here. 
But something else that I'm really impressed with about Elios is the places, because places and transport are two things that I feel like a lot of architects are not like focusing their efforts on. And this world just has, as you can see already, 15 places and one proposed one. And I really like the different sections of the world that they've come up with for Elios and how, um, like, you know, there are like these different banners being designed for like the different regions. And and someone's actually even created a world map. Um, like, as you can see, this was a contribution created by someone else and they've created an entire map. And again, it just, it does give me like Lord of the Rings vibes. And I really like that because Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite things. So I think that Lego Elios is doing great. You can see it was published the day that World Builder launched. And I really hope that, you know, more people continue to contribute. There's a hundred comments. There's great things happening to this world. Honestly, I am so happy to see the amount of like community involvement on this one project because it really seems like people are loving this idea. And this is like, this is what you want to see from World Builder. Like this whole community springing up around this idea. And this is one of the best examples that I've seen of it so far. So if you want to go help out on Lego Elios, you know, there's a lot of things that you could get involved in, whether you want to do some art, whether you want to create like more characters or storylines. So it hasn't been updated for about a month now, but I'd still say like, you know, you never know when the architect is going to come back. Um, you know, it's possible that people just get busy. That happens to me too. So I think that you should definitely go over and contribute if, you know, this kind of RPG medieval style is something that you're interested in. There's a lot more to discover on like a world builder. You know, we update the trending page pretty much every day and you can see other world on here. It was at the top for a little while. That's the one I spotlighted last week. There's just, there's something for everyone on like a world builder. And I definitely recommend heading over and checking it out if you haven't already. But that's it for today. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.